All right, so what's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that I've just had to make one of the most difficult decisions of my entire life. Now about a week ago, maybe a little bit more, I decided to upload a push-up challenge, the LSJ push-up challenge, the most innovative, creative push-up challenge. And the most difficult decision has been picking a winner. So many of you guys got involved and that is just exactly what I wanted. I wanted you guys to get up, get up and about, get your brain working, get your bodies working and just get involved with these push-up challenges. So thank you to everybody who got involved and the winner of last week's competition is at drn underscore fit two feet balanced on one clear way isolated tub one hand on each and down we go down and up and a nice little home gym set up in the background also for progression kettlebells on the back make it harder put the feet on the floor make it a little bit easier you know the progression difficulty level creativity was just really up there but we just had so many entries it was just difficult to choose we had people using monster for rows we had people stripping down naked getting in a my protein box doing the same kind of thing it was just it was genuinely a really really hard decision so thank you for everybody who got involved and messaged me to claim your prize next week's competition or this week's competition i should say this is going up on wednesday so you will have from wednesday until sunday to enter with your entry and then the winner will be announced next week i want to see your best at home creative pull down i want to see your pull down your pull up basically a lat exercise we're not talking rows that's for another week so if you have an idea for that keep it to yourself for now but a pull down or pull up equivalent whether you use resistance bands whether you use monster whether you use clear way whatever I, a tree in your backyard i don't i don't know just do something get yourself up get yourself about and you could be winning a prize courtesy of myself and my protein. Thank you so much to everybody who entered. It was it was such a hard decision. I had to consult Charlotte, I had to consult the old man, I had to consult my friends. It was very, very difficult. And so please do not be offended if I didn't pick you. I still appreciate you. Get entering with those pull-ups and you could be winning next week. And we might return to the push-up challenge once we've run out of exercises eventually. So in the meantime, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Get entering with those pull-ups, people. Stay active, stay healthy, stay smiling. Together we will grow and enjoy this video. Now obviously I don't want to show you this because like it's got people's addresses on it and stuff but I just want to show you the, the labels and stuff. You will receive your, your t-shirt in a little bag like this and then in a little bag like this. And the bag actually has the emblem on it. Attention to detail. A wise man once said the difference is in the detail. So this is what it will look like. This is what you will receive. Thank you all for your support. This isn't even all of them, this is flipping egg. something that you guys would know what it was when it arrived, hence the uh, the labels and stuff, but um, it just means that it's a bit of a faff, so I hope you like it.
Okay, we're taking a, a little break from our, uh, from our leg day because the question that I need to answer in a video so that y'all can know the answer, because I got the answers, is what the hell is a duck row? Recently, when I launched the website, I sneakily launched less than 10 of the OHP plans on there. The one question from the people that have bought it, I keep on getting is what the hell a duck row is because it's on a couple of the days, right? And so it is an exercise that is gonna work the, the uh, rear delt. Your shoulder is in three parts, long story short, it's front, side, and back. Let's say the back for this one, okay? So you see I have nine kilos here. What I'm gonna do is drop the weight, drop the ego, and use about four kilos so that I can have very strict form, okay? You will be able to progress this once you um, get used to it a little bit more. However, definitely start light because it's a, a really difficult exercise. Rear delts just in general, you don't have to go heavy. It's more on the contraction and the mind to muscle connection. I know that sounds cliche, but it's true, okay? So what you're gonna do is feet shoulder width apart, holding the dumbbells like so. Crouching down as though you were going into a bent over row position and hold this position here. I don't, want to, I don't want to have my head all the way down. I don't want to be looking up like this. A nice neutral head looking down at the floor like so, okay? So, palms facing down to the floor. You can either have a hammer grip like so or you can face them down to the floor. I like to personally combine the two, start off with them in the hammer grip and then turn it back into the palms facing down on the floor, okay? So, knees bent, chest up, shoulders back, nice straight back, hammer grip, down, and repeat. Boom. So where you want the dumbbells slash barbell, because you can use a barbell for this as well, is behind your knees, starting like so, and rowing back, and down, and rowing back, okay? So again, with the weight, we'll start from scratch. We've got a nice low weight, feet shoulder width apart, nice soft knees, straight back, hammer grip, fist down. Boom, slight pause at the top, coming down. You want the first part of the movement to come from your rear delt, so the back of your shoulder, okay? You really want to pinch at the top, squeeze, and slow it back down again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a duck row. One of the exercises, a very good exercise for the rear delts that I like to use on the OHP plan, five day plan, link in the description box. Go and pick yourself up 10 of them. You already have done that though, haven't you? Breathe. Seven. Come on. On the way up and out. Easy. Come on. Finish it. Fifteen, yeah? Good set, good set, good set. Can you remember which video it was that we uh, did it in last time? For the first time. Uh, no. My plan to get shredded, was it that one? No, I don't think so. Yeah, summer baby, yeah. <laughs> no, mm, here, here, here. Plans to get shredded. Here we go. <laughs> So that there 
is a clip where we struggled for 10, where we did one with the ball and one without. Today, I did 10 with the ball, or was it 15 with the ball? 15 with the ball and five without. And I'm alive afterwards. <laughs> and you did 15, easy. Aggressive overload, really breaking down those muscle fibers, recruiting that fatigue within the abdominal region. Right then, people. Take one good look at this because who knows how much longer it's gonna look like this. So take a good look. Because it might be about to change. <gasps> <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna upgrade the home gym there and then, didn't you? Well, you would be wrong, team. However, we do have some changes coming soon. Um, how soon, I don't know. How drastic, again, I don't know. Um, but stay tuned. Just gonna be snacking on, what time is it? It is around about quarter past three in the afternoon now, so this is my mid-afternoon snack. Mid-afternoon snack. A good friend of mine actually once said that time is just a social construct. And he's right. Why is an hour an hour? Because someone with a big brain a while back said so. Why is a week a week? Why is a minute a minute and a second 60 seconds? Like, why is a minute 60 seconds? Because someone smarter than you and I a while back said so. <laughs> like, what a weird thought though. Why is, it, why is an hour 60 minutes and not 90 or not 10 or not 1,000? Why is a second a second? Who invented it? I don't, I don't know. Whatever a minute, whatever an hour, whatever a day, week, month, year is to you, you might have a bit of spare time on your hands at the minute. So make sure you're doing something productive. I'm doing something that's gonna benefit me, hopefully, in the long run. I'm gonna stop talking with my mouth full. Like, it would be so easy for me to sit here now, or just use this time and do fuck all. Do absolutely nothing, purely because I have no reason to. I don't have a, a work place to go to. I'm not on a nine to fiver kind of thing. You know, there's nothing, there's no holidays, no, like at the end of the day, I'm dieting out of principle still because I said that I would and I still can and so I should and so I will. Don't worry, I'm on track with that. We'll get to that in a different video. But it, my point is it would be so easy for me to just sit here and do nothing. And it will be so easy for you guys to, to do that as well. That's why I wanted to do these challenges, these push-up challenges, this push-up challenge, because people aren't gonna have the same motivation that they usually have. They don't have the same reasons to get up and about and do something. So I wanna offer, yes, a little reward at that, but something, a little kind of community togetherness thing that we can do to get people up and about and, and doing stuff and, and just thinking right and doing things and just making use of their day. You know, it might take someone an entire morning to think of an idea, plan the idea, execute the idea, film it. It might take them an entire morning, but they might have nothing else to do with that morning. And if they didn't have that to focus on, then they might have done nothing with that morning. I like the idea of basically helping someone get up and about and do something with their day because everybody needs that push every now and then. So um, please do get involved with the challenges if, if, you, uh, if you have not already and if you just want to do something with your day. If you're still working, you can still work it around that. I don't know, do it on your lunch break or something. Just send it over and uh, get involved. It would, it would mean a lot to me anyway. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Just bear in mind the kind of shoulder thing, um, building them up. Front, side, back. That's basically all you have to know. Let's not overcomplicate it. We're not a friggin' science textbook. But if you if you want that that real kind of side chest pop or that real full roundness in the shoulder, I'll, I'll pop up a picture and you can just see that little bump at the back. Like you have the front, the big chunk where the front and the side kind of merge into one. And then just that little bump at the back to get that full shoulder you have to work the rear delts. And for actual shoulder health as well, people do so much benching and they do so much shoulder pressing. They don't work the stuff at the back that you don't see that on the beach muscles and they end up getting injured. They end up in injuring their chest, injuring their shoulders and all this kind of stuff because they haven't worked the, the posterior chain, you know? You know how it is. Got to work the back as much as you work the front. Same with your legs. You've got to work the hammies just as much as you work the quads. Otherwise, you'll wind up with some sort of imbalance and an injury somewhere down the line. So, 
I'm not saying that everybody wants to look like this guy, to be honest, I don't want to look like this guy. However, the, the principle is there of building full, round, dense, healthy shoulders, because this guy's shoulders will be in a lot better condition than well, mine, and probably yours. So, I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the daily videos. If you have, let's smash 60 likes on this one, because... It is a lot to get them out on a daily basis. I understand the grind that Christian goes through on Summer Shredding and Casey Neistat went through for those like 17 years he did daily videos. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, like, comment, share, subscribe. Some cool stuff on like Lad Bible and like Uni Bible, Uni Lad and all this kind of stuff might actually be coming very soon. They, um, they reached out to me. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it, but we shall see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Together, we will grow. Stay happy, stay positive, stay smiling, get doing those pull-ups, and I will see you in the next one. Let me know what you want to see next.